The NBA bubble is an adjustment for everyone, for players, for coaches, for fans, and especially for team broadcasters. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the excitement of NBA basketball. It's the same game, except... Things are entirely different now. If you're providing the play-by-play. -play. It is rather odd to show up at FedEx Forum in suit and put makeup on, and the building is, is pretty much empty. Pete Branica and Eric Hasseltine, the respective TV and radio voices of the Grizzlies, may sound like they are right on the sideline in Orlando, when in fact they are watching on a monitor broadcasting from an empty FedEx forum. Once they throw the ball up in the air, it's NBA basketball, and you call it the same way as you'd call it if you were in the building. This is what we do for a living, and this is what we love to do, so I'm excited to be able to hopefully bring some entertainment to our fans and listening throughout our radio network. But the 800-mile distance makes it much more difficult for announcers to gather their usual game day nuggets and storylines. You, you just hate not being there. You'd love to be in the building. We understand the, the challenges that the NBA is facing and, and teams are facing, and uh, we're doing the best we can with what is a, a less than ideal situation, I think, for everybody. A silver lining to the remote setup is that broadcast crews get the best of both worlds, getting to be home with their families while being reunited with their coworkers. These are our friends, and for six months out of the year, they are our family, the people that we have the closest contact with. So it, it's good to see them, and... It's, uh, it's not quite normal, but it's good to have them back. For Local 24 Sports, I'm Clayton Collier.